on your knees when you face the great Yota, king of Metropolis. On your knees, he said. The king of Metropolis, you use science to murder people. I've seen an example with what you did to my brothers. On your knees. <laughs> you can force me to bow down, but you're not able to prevent me from saying what I have come here to say to you. My mission is to warn you that you are doomed by the terrible power you possess. And now destroy me if you like, Yota! Before you die, you will have bodily evidence of my power. No matter how much you torture me, you will suffer worse. Someday you will rule a city of the dead. You will reign over a wasteland. Your power is based on a criminal use of science. It will destroy you. You will die miserably. I will be destroyed. What can destroy me? Answer me that. No one is more powerful than I am. I have enslaved all the people on earth. I've made them tremble just as you will. You'll feel your body and your mind disintegrating slowly, day by day, inexorably. Take him down into the quartz grotto. You're a madman, Yota. Now I have achieved my purpose in life. I have seen with my own eyes the marvels of your civilization. And I am sure that you yourself will be the one who destroys what you have accomplished with your horrible crime. Mark my words, Yota! It's necessary that we order the stranger to be put to death at once. His very presence here in Metropolis possibly could lead the scientists to entertain doubts as to the noble aims of our no. research. We have to let him live. I want to subject him to all our experiments of a physical and a scientific nature. If he is able to undergo these as well, then at last we will be able to create the perfect being. Now leave me, all of you. Why did you choose to remain behind? The stranger has told us the terrifying truth, Yota. His entry into Metropolis has shown that your science can fail sometimes. And what if it should fail in the case of Elmos? But I won't permit you to go on with what you're doing. 